Uh, hello, I'm Stephen Cook with Cooksaw Manufacturing. Uh, this is the eclipse day, August the 21st. We had a, a solar eclipse today, and uh, I was a little disappointed. I thought it was going to get darker than what it was. But anyway, uh, it's in the afternoon after it's passed. We're going to talk about scales today and uh, just say a little bit about our scales and, and say a few things that might uh, help you to understand about cutting wood and thicknesses and things. Um, we have a, a regular inch scale, a four quarter, five quarter, six quarter, and, and these are magnetic, and so they'll just pull off and you can put them back on. And we have another one that, that does eight quarter and, and I maybe seven quarter. I forget just, just what the other ones are. Uh, and then we also have some that are standard uh, that just give you a, uh, the standard, like a measuring tape. And that's, that's something that I want, reason I wanted to talk about these. You have an inch scale over here on the far left. And this inch scale, we read uh, from our measuring wire here, uh, it is showing at about five inches now. Well, that is the height of the blade from the deck. And so it would be at five inches, four and three quarter, right there, basically. Uh, and that's what this on, on the far left is showing. Now, our four quarter scale, five quarter, six quarter, uh, those are grade lumber scales uh, for hardwood lumber. Years ago, we used to saw hardwood lumber. And uh, when you saw it, if you saw four quarter, you're actually allowed, uh, you need to be at least four quarter and you're allowed an eighth over. Maybe even a three sixteenth, I forget just the rules right now. But you're allowed some over. And so these scales are made uh, so that when you drop, um, let's, we'll just start down here. If you're at 12 inches and you drop one or 12, the mark 12, not wouldn't be 12 inches, you would actually be at 14 and a half inches here. Uh, if you drop though from what would be the number 12 down to 11 here, you would be, uh, have a board that's an inch and an eighth thick. And the reason we just have these, these other ones that drop from line to line, or you can drop from half to half line, uh, that's still going to give you an inch and an eighth. Uh, the reason for that is you'll see the scale is different over here, and as it goes down, your, your numbers over here are totally different from that. But it's because we're cutting one-eighth over. The reason they do that is when, you, when your board dries, it cups, you have defects according to whatever grade that you have. And uh, so once that is planed, you've got to plane the cup out of it, uh, and you've got to end up with 13 sixteenths uh, on uh, hardwood. And so you have to start oversized. Then when they take that 13 sixteenths, put it together and finish sanding it, you end up about three quarters of an inch. But the four quarter, five quarter, six quarter, all of those are one eighth of an inch over that. So that gives you plenty. You don't want to go for four quarter and then end up just a little under. You need to be over so that you guaranteed to have your four quarter there. So four quarter is actually an inch and an eighth. Five quarter, which would normally be one and a quarter, is an inch and three eighths, one eighth over. Uh, six quarter, which would be an inch and a half, is uh, an inch and uh, normally would be an inch and five eighths, an eighth over on each one of those scales. Now, some benefit of that, I like to use the, the six quarter if I'm, if I'm cutting uh, green on the sawmill, if I'm cutting green lumber, uh, I'll cut it at, at the, on the six quarter scale, that's giving me one and five eighths. When it dries, I've got a good uh, thick one and a half inch board or two inch board, we call it. I like that, and if I use it green, well, that's fine, and it gives me a, uh, a, a nice thick board uh, that works out well. But that's the, that's the reasons for the scales and the difference. We have, as I mentioned, we have some scales that are actually set up so that if you want a full one inch board, you can drop from line to line on it or number to number on it and it will give you uh, an actual one inch board or an actual two inch board. It, it leaves, it takes up or allows for that kerf. The blade itself has to come out of that board and so all of that's figured in in our measurement here and so that, that allows you to just drop from one line to another, not have to figure, oh, well, I've got a hundred thousandths uh, of, of kerf from my bandsaw blade and I need to leave it an eighth and do all, all that figuring in your head. You'll just drop from line to line as you go. Now you can square up with your, with your inch uh, marker 
and you'll know, hey, if I've got a, you know, a big log and you're cutting a big thing, you can square it up at 20 inches or 12 inches. That's what this is doing. And it shows you how wide or how, how deep your, your, your log is. And then you cut your final with your four quarter, five quarter, six quarter. <laughs> I got some guineas out here that are uh, making a big racket. But anyway, just wanted to try to help you understand about the uh, scales and maybe this will be helpful to you.